South Bay father tracked by ICE agents while he was dropping his daughter off at daycare got a huge showing of support today. He has been in jail for months now. KPI X5 Devin Feely is live in the man's community in San Jose. Devin. Yeah, Fernando uh, Carrillo's uh, wife and daughter say he is a dedicated family man who just doesn't deserve to be locked away in a federal detention facility awaiting deportation. But I says the story is a bit more complicated than that. They say that he has been deported repeatedly and returned without permission to this country. And they say he has two prior convictions on his record. Lourdes Garraza posted this picture of herself and her three daughters on Facebook Christmas Day with the caption, One Elf Short. It had been nearly two months since her husband, Fernando Carrillo, was detained by ICE agents after dropping their daughter off at daycare in mid-November. I've been left to be a single mom to three, three girls. Uh, it's, not, it's taken a toll on me physically. Uh, emotionally, financially, we are devastated. The father of three has been held at the West County Detention Center in Richmond for the past three months. Today, immigration activists rallied in support of Fernando outside the ICE office in San Francisco. They say the Trump administration's immigration policy is capricious and cruel and gives little regard to the family, U.S. citizens all, who he leaves behind. They're not criminals and they don't deserve this. Nobody deserves this. It's just been very hard. A spokesperson for ICE says Carrillo has been deported to his native Mexico three times since 2003 and has two prior criminal convictions for possession of fraudulent identification and driving under the influence. But his wife says that doesn't make him a criminal, simply a casualty of a broken immigration system. It's devastating to know that hundreds and hundreds and thousands of families are going through the same thing that we're going through. Our daughters are paying the ultimate price for someone's beliefs. And it's not fair. Now, Fernando will be back in court on February 22nd when his attorney and family will ask a judge to allow him to remain in the United States. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.